And welcome back to the Jason Show at Home Edition. I'm Jace. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. Right now, though, the show is going to get a lot better because we have two guests that America loves. First, he is America's favorite daytime producer, Ted, everyone. Right? Look at that. Ted, Hello. Ted. What's up, Ted? Thank you. Hello. And he's America's favorite disgruntled daytime executive producer. <laughs> it's Jeff, everyone. There we go. I'm never disgruntled. Never, never, never. You're always a ray of, right, Ted? He's never disgruntled. Never. That's right. Jeff, we'll start with the oldest first. That would be you. Uh, wow, you look clear as a bell. Did you get new internet since last we spoke? <laughs> <laughs> I tightened the cables. <laughs> No, it looks really good. You're still in New York City, I see. That's right. Are, are you wrapping me all? Ted, he's wrapping me in the segment just got started. That's right. Kill, kill, kill. That's right. Don't say that, Jason. Don't say that. Don't say it at all. Uh, okay, Ted, let's move on. Yeah, Ted, let's start with you. Uh, last time we checked in with you, you were watching Glee. Uh, how's that going? Did you Have you discovered anything new? What's going on? Glee is still going uh, really good. Uh, I think I, I haven't really, uh, you know, maybe two or three more episodes. Uh, I watched this one show called Too Hot to Handle. Okay, on everybody is talking about this show. Will you, what is this? I saw it on my menu. It's actually- Je Look, Jeff's already judging. Look, him. he was shaking his head in judgment. It's actually perfect for the quarantine because it's these really super hot singles that go on this island they're like all over each other for the first 12 hours. And then they realize that in order to get the prize money at the end, they can't touch each other. They, they can't <laughs> what? No, no, I, make no making out. No other things. Whoopee. Yeah. Because if they watch do that, your fingers, the, prize, <laughs> the <Yeah>. prize money <laughs> goes down. Oh, so the more they touch each other, the the they're they get a point total <laughs> no wonder no, the, wasn't this wasn't the, this what? a show and tell segment what's going on <laughs> the, the, i know but jeff we got to go where the conversation goes and I, they, just, yes they can't touch each other okay okay we'll get into it so obviously ted jeff is not interested in this we'll have to <laughs> ted you and no, i and the I, viewers I, we'll do this separately i, I know preview. he's like okay I we preview. have three minutes i know okay fine jeff let's I start with preview. you okay fine we're, <laughs> we're doing a show and tell judgy janet what's your show and tell today well my first i have two and i'll make them quick my first is from 2003. Okay, next we're gonna go to Ted. And <laughs> okay, no, it's it's an article from, from CJ. And oh. in it, she talks about Peter Fonda being in town. And it says, Peter Fonda left skid marks on Buzz Boy film critic, Jason Matheson. What? Yes. What? He what? said, Peter Fonda's limo almost hit Jason Matheson. Now, the reason why I still have this is because I have my picture was with Peter Fonda. Oh, look at that. When he was at, I made CJ back in the day, 17 years ago. Wow. And it wasn't even like a relationship scandal. That's why I was usually in there. No. Now, my next one, we a few months ago, we had a silhouette artist on the show. Do you remember that? Mm, no. Well, the last time I was at Disney World, I had my silhouette done. Oh, <laughs> yes. No way! Oh, and that's me. Yes. Shut <laughs> up. This is from 1984. That is since, and you know what's so funny, Jeff? My show and tell is similar to that but we'll get to it i don't want to rob your time look at that oh it's disney related shocker <laughs> oh my goodness yes well ted we're we're done with jeff what's your show what's your quarantine show and tell today someone posted a message and they were wondering if this was like a brett if this was a brett Favre bobblehead up here and they wanted to know if it was if i was a packer fan the answer is yes but I have more than the, more than that. Oh, I oh. have. He's up out of his chair. 
Brett Favre signed photo. Or is it somewhere in there? His <laughs> oh. signature is somewhere in there. But here's the thing. This could be worth a lot of money. Why? Because I had the cer- certificate of authenticity. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have lost that. So this is worthless. Ooh. So that but it's real. Si- that could have been signed by, like, Jeff. Carl Favre. Right. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, are you so, raising your hand with a question? What, do you have a question? Would it be worth more if it was when he was a Viking, Brett Favre? Ooh. 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 Too soon. Yeah. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Well, here's... A, What's yours, Jason? Well, mine is... Look at this. Now, Jeff laughed. First, I'm going to show an embarrassing high school photo at the end of the show because we're running out of time here. So I'll show that. That's the mirror image photo, Jeff, that we all took in the 80s. So we have that. And then this is Disney related. A Jason Show viewer made this for me. How cool is that? Look at that guy. Isn't that great? Yes. Father Bear Workshop there made that for me. Such a good guy. And uh, look at that. Look at the craftsmanship. So there we go. Gentlemen, thank you so much for playing show and tell, Jeff. You look sensational. Oh, you just did the Dick Clark there. There we go. That was great. Thank you. What about Ted? Ted looks good. Ted looks. Ted always looks good. There we Thank go. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back right after.